Greetings all, praise King Selassie. Austin bombings. This is the newest event um, seeming to occur more often now than ever. Um, you know, what are the results of these events? Further security for the assets of the wealthy. I mean, in the old days, people used to build castles. They had towers, they had water around them. They were difficult to penetrate. And within those castles, secured the wealth of those rulers. You know, usually uh, provided for incentives for those servers of. Today, things are wider, more complex. You know, there's a more need than ever to secure the wealth of those few individuals that rule over the populations through their system of law. And what happens when these events occur, you know, puts fear into the public's heart. And, you know, they, there's a, there's a, a push you know, for, uh, measures to be taken so that you know prevents these acts in the future now one of the things um, that that is going to occur uh, going to occur as a result of this latest episode is there's going to be an unveiling of some of the information um, as to give uh, the public you know some insight and therefore respect in the process um, previously you know some of the the events um, you know, the perpetrators you know their their information uh, you know can sometimes considered a digital footprint for example uh, is not disclosed the uh, case in Orlando with Omar Mateen is you know supposedly you know here's a man supposedly we're told that he pledged allegiance to ISIS. You know, they, the uh, th the phone call that he he made to a uh, public uh, agency nine one one is not available. Although they'll tell you you know some of what was said smells and um, you know with regarding some of the other shooters uh, Dylan Ruth um, Adam Lanza you know what, what, what were these what were these people doing you know, were they were they playing video games you know were they watching pornography were they watching YouTube videos of people getting you know slaughtered um, the police know and they're not telling. You know, well, what they want to do now is justify these security measures by saying, you know, these, these measures are needed because as a result of having implemented them, now we can tell you what the motives of this actor um, was. And therefore, garnishing the public's acceptance uh, for these practices. You know, in other words, you're creating a need. You know, whereas the people really didn't need to be spied on 24/7, but now, oh, you know, there's no question. Who wants to die, get blown up, right? So, these individuals that are carrying these acts out are doing so as a result of the content that they're accessing. It's affecting their mind. And, you know, this isn't some secret conspiracy like a few, you know, guys in dark cloaks in a back room. You know, this is like predictive analysis. Whereas they use the digital infrastructure to pick up the trends, to know, you know, where things are headed 
and then they can prepare so when those events do occur um, it results in putting in place the infrastructure that will benefit those few wicked men.